Hey there and welcome to another video. My name is Hugh and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place and manage trades in TradingView. All right, let's go. All right, so this is TradingView. I've been using TradingView for quite a few years. I pay for it with my own money. This is not sponsored uh, and it is my favorite charting and trading platform. So let's get into it. So in order to get started, I would highly recommend that you test everything out in a paper trading account first and luckily uh, TradingView does give you a paper trading account that you can sign up for and this allows you to try everything out, test it out, see how it works. Never ever go into a trading platform and start trading cold. Uh, always figure out how the mechanics of that platform works first. Okay, so in order to do that, go to the bottom here, trading panel, uh, paper trading. It'll allow you to connect. It's very simple. As you can see, I have a balance of almost $100,000 there. And this is just fake money that I can use to uh, practice with. And if I want to create another account, I can create another account here. Uh, that's no problem. But for now, I'm going to click on this paper trading tab and that's going to close the window. And now I'm on the chart. So let's say I want to place a trade on the chart here. Maybe I want to go long. So what you do is you right click on the chart and then you go to trade and then create new order. And then you'll get this screen here. So the basic things to understand are the buy and sell buttons. So are you going to buy or are you going to sell? Uh, when you click on each of those options, the button down here changes. So you know what you're doing while you're placing the order. So let's say that I want to buy. Uh, you will be able to see the spread here, which is great. Uh, so in this case, this is not a great spread, but uh, this is just for demonstration. So uh, 2.1 pips is the spread on the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Now, the next thing you want to look at is market order, limit order, or stop order. So remember, uh, market order is just going to place an order at the market right now, whatever is the best price you can get at the moment. Uh, a limit order is if you want price to go into the level and then reject it. So this is the limit of what you're willing to pay, right? Uh, a stop order is if you want price to go beyond a, a, a target level. So let's say that this is your target level, price comes up and it's only going to execute if price goes beyond that. Whereas with the limit, you're looking for a bounce. So that's the difference between limit, market and stop. Uh, so for the limit and stop, you can put the price that you want the order executed at. Uh, for market, it's simple because it's just a market order. It's going to enter it right now at the market. So once you uh, select the type of order you're going to do, then put in the number of units. Uh, in this case, as an example, I'm just going to do a thousand units, which is a micro lot in Forex. And this brings up a good point. If you're trading other markets like stocks or futures or crypto, be sure you understand all of the terminology and practice with this paper trading account first also. Okay, so the next thing you want to take a look at is a take profit and stop loss. And the great thing about TradingView is that you have so many different options on how to uh, determine the take profit and stop loss. So if you want a stop loss, for example, let's put that there. And then you can uh, determine how many pips away you want the stop loss, the exact price, uh, the dollar amount that you want the risk to be and then the uh, percentage risk that you want to take on the trade. So this is one of the best interfaces for entering trades, in my opinion. Uh, same thing goes for the take profit. You can set it at a set number of pips. You can set a price. You can set a dollar amount profit, or you can set a percentage of the account uh, profit target. So when you once you have that set up, all you do is you hit buy. In this case, it's a buy. And it will put the uh, trades on the chart. So Let's get rid of these. Okay, so this is the entry. This is the stop loss and the take profit should be up here. Yep, uh, take profits up there. Now, if you don't see any of these lines, you can right click on the chart, go to settings and then go to trading. And then um, you can click any of these options here. You can click on uh, positions, orders. That's what I like to use. Uh, executions can get a little bit messy because it, it shows all these little arrows, especially if you've been day trading or something uh, that can get kind of messy in the chart. So I, I leave that off uh, and then I check extended price line for positions and orders. And um, I want that to be on the left because it's kind of confusing and kind of clutters things up when it's on the right. I'll show you what that's like. So if it's on the right, you can see it blocks the chart a lot of times. So I like to put that on the left. 
and then just hit OK and you'll come up with this. So now if you just have uh, a regular order, okay, first of all, um, I set a take profit and a stop loss. So what you can do is you can just put your cursor over the box here and you can drag this down and that will automatically modify the uh, take profit or stop loss. Same thing with the take profit up here. Uh, you can just drag this down visually and then hit modify and that will change the trade. Now, if you want to close out the trade, you can go down here, click on the paper trading tab and then hit the X next to uh, the order. If you want to modify any part of the order, then you can just click the pencil next to it and then that will help you modify the order. So I'm going to close this order so I can show you something else. Um, another thing here is if you want to only close part of the order, you can do a partial close. So let's say that I only want to close out 500 units. I could do that partially close. And as you can see, the quantity went down to 500, but I'm going to just close this out to show you something else. Okay. So I'm going to enter another trade, but this time I'm going to make it a market order, right? So market order buy. I won't set the take profit or the stop loss and I'm going to hit buy. Okay, so now if you have this, you can actually visually set the take profit and stop loss. And TradingView makes it really easy to set the take profit and stop loss. So what you do on this um, order or this trade is to put your cursor over this uh, box here and you'll get these two boxes. So with the take profit, you can just click and drag this up and that will give you the take profit visually. And then you can just hit modify here. And then same thing with the stop loss, you can drag the stop loss down and that will give you the um, prices there. Now, when you close this out, as you can see, you can have the stop loss, take profit, and this is the trade itself. All right, so I closed out all the trades and now I wanna look at my results. So just hit on the tab here. Uh, if you actually have a broker, it's gonna have your broker name. If you're paper trading, then it's just gonna say paper trading. So you can look at these tabs down here. You can see your open orders, you can see your history, um, all the executions you did, where you were filled, where it was canceled, and then you can see the account history. And then there's also a trading journal here, which shows you all the actions that you did um, uh, during that time period. All right, so that's about it. Really easy to do. Uh, TradingView has made this process really simple. And I really like the fact that you can set your stop loss by percentage. Uh, that is huge and that is not available on most other platforms. So this is something definitely to take advantage of. Uh, you can also set the risk here by percent and by dollar risk if you want to do that. So that's how to place your first trade in TradingView. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get more videos like this. And if you want to check out TradingView, there's a link in the description below. That's my link that you can get uh, TradingView on a free trial. And if you like it, then you can start paying for it. All right. Thanks for watching.